Welcome back to Tales From Our Pocket. Today, we are finally spending some money. <laughs> so far in Singapore, we've been enjoying the wealth of options that Singapore has that are free. Today, that changes. <laughs> we are in the bay. You're in the bay? We're in the bay. I'm not in the bay. I'm not in the water. <laughs> Gardens, Gardens by the bay. We are at Gardens by the Bay. This is one of the most iconic areas of Singapore with architecture that you will recognize even if you haven't been here. And we are doing it all. We're going into the cloud forest. We are going into floral fantasy. We are going into flower or dome. And we are even going to the top of one of those trees that you see behind me. They're called super trees and we'll tell you all about them later. We have a huge day ahead of us. So much to do. We better get going. By the way, masks are required every time we go inside. So this might be the only time that you see our smiling faces. <laughs> we'll be smiling behind our masks though, be assured. Uh, it is also really chilly. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be quite this chilly. It's very uh, air conditioned. If you come, <laughs> you might want to bring another layer. It smells amazing in here. flower dome you can see it behind us those flowers were amazing it was so much fun to photograph the flowers and I guess video them depending on what device we were carrying so far I'm really impressed it was really neat Bill what did you think of the flower dome it was fantastic I think there's nothing like it uh, at least that I've seen in all our travels and it's, it's just really unique everything's temperature controlled in there so it's very comfortable it's just everything's uh, very well done it's lots of fun sculptures and and uh, lots of beautiful flowers. Oh, we happened to arrive at the very end of their Sakura uh, display. Japanese <laughs> cherry blossoms, yeah. uh, which is kind of amazing. A lot of them were past their peak. You know, it's the end of it, uh, but it was neat to be able to come in and just see the very end of that. That was probably my favorite part. We've canceled Japan <laughs> plans like three times in the past two years. So it was neat to be able to experience a little bit of Japan through here in Singapore. We bought a bundle package, that's how we're able to do absolutely everything, and we are on our way to grab some lunch. We, Our bundle included a $14 credit to a couple of restaurants around here, and one of them is Sate. And we enjoyed that so much the other evening, that's our choice. I keep hoping for some otters to be crossing my path. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Fake news. Well, what'd you think of lunch, Bill? The saute was really good. Um, I felt the meat cuts were a little bit better than the place that we went to. The meat was so tender. Yeah. Um, the sauces, though, I think Heather liked a little bit better this time. It wasn't so spicy. It tastes like peanut and <laughs> and fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the other ones because they were spicy. <laughs> We are off now to the Cloud Forest, I believe it's called. Really excited about this one. I have no idea what the climate's gonna be like in it. I was so surprised by how chilly I was in the first one. Anyhow, we're excited to go walk among the clouds. <laughs> this is so 
impressive. I bet you can't even hear me. The waterfalls are so loud. It's so cool. Also, it's not as cool as the last one we went to, but it's a little bit cool. These flowers look so sad. They're trying to grow. Happy flower. Whereas the flower dome was emulating springtime all the time, this dome, the cloud forest dome, is emulating mountains and the forest that we find in the mountain. It's sort of a tropical feeling in here, a cool tropical feeling, and uh, you never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> Bill's back there filming every single dragon we go by. We've seen like eight of them so far, so I'm sorry about the dragon montage that you're probably experiencing right now. <laughs> I used to bounce on knees, fresh from the oven, chubby and carefree. I had a mind at knees. Now I always see the trees, birds and the beasts and the man and his empty deeds. I see a bird. Orchids trained like this before on trellis to climb. It's so cool. There was a sign on the way in that said that the next misting misting takes place at 2 p.m., which is in about 15 minutes. We don't really know what that means. Misting. What's getting misted? Am I wearing the right shoes for this? Questions. for dimensions. <laughs> wow. Give us a copyright strike. <laughs> sure has it, Mark. <laughs> check out those a little bit later. Those are called the super trees and we're actually going to go up inside one. Well, we finished up at Cloud Forest and I think that we were both pretty impressed. My favorite was the orchid garden area. There was this curtain of orchids that just came down next to you. I've never seen orchids trained in that way and it was just beautiful. My favorite part was just the waterfall. It is very tall. <laughs> Apparently at one point it was the tallest one in the world, but that title went to the Shangi Airport's waterfall in the Jewel, I think it's called. We'll see that later. So if you look online and you're trying to figure out which of the domes you should go to when you visit Gardens by the Bay, most commonly you'll see people recommended to go visit the Cloud Forest, the one we just did. And so far we'd agree, but we've only seen two. We have one left to go before we go up to the super tree and enjoy a sunset, except it's thundering out. So we'll have to see how that works out for us. One more to go. We'll go see whether we recommend Floral Fantasy over Cloud Forest. It is a high bar. All day we've sort of been able to see the uh, cruise ship hotel thing <laughs> off Very in the distance. Days. 
and it is just really quite the landmark. It's very impressive. Time for a midday beverage snack. Bill went out on a limb and got something that we've never heard of. 100 plus. It's an original isotonic drink. I have no idea what that means. So I looked that up and it sounds a little like kind of a low sugar Gatorade and uh, let's give it a try. Oh, it's really tasty. It's like um, it's like a citrus flavor. Uh, in the U.S., we have something called Fresca, and it tastes a lot like that, just a little bit less sugary. Heather's gonna try it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Big fan. Final Dome Garden. Oh, it's so pretty. Holy cats! It's beautiful! <laughs> We just finished up our third flower dome of the day. That was floral fantasy. That was pretty ethereal. Is that the word? Ethereal? I think that's a good way to describe it, yeah. There's some nice, soft, relaxing music playing. Yeah. Basically, it was a bunch of flower arrangements. Lots of things hanging from the ceiling and um, from all over the place, really. What was really interesting about that one is that it was a mix of dried flowers and live plants. So I thought that really added to the atmosphere. But I have to go with the internet on the recommendation. If you can only go to one, I would say that the cloud forest is the way to go. We have one more activity to do here <laughs> at Gardens by the Bay today. And uh, I'm thinking it might get rained out and lightninged and thundered out. We are supposed to be going to the super trees that you can see right back there. Uh, I'm thinking we might have to come back. Wah, wah. We're gonna go back over now and find out. If you are trying to decide which one to go to, Floral Fantasy is by far the most Instagrammy of them. If that's your thing, then that's the one you want to go to. They had this butterfly flower thing that had squares telling you where to stand. They had all of these benches set up with props. They had, I mean, it was totally like, <laughs> what more could an Instagrammer want? Know, really, we, we don't do a ton on Instagram, but it still was fun to do different poses and stuff. So just a heads up. Well, the thunder, lightning, and rain persisted while we had our dinner, so we rescheduled our super tree visit to a few nights from now. Uh, for those who are curious, we walked about seven miles today, and we'll be coming back to visit the super tree that you can see growing out of my head. Uh, and we'll just add it onto this video, so keep on watching. And we're back. Here are the super trees. We're back at the super tree grove and we are about to go up, I think the tallest one. Now you might be wondering why are they called super trees? Also, why is Heather swatting at her face? There are gnats out. <laughs> it is dusk. We are hoping that we time this perfectly to catch the sunset and the light show from the top of the super tree. If we timed it right, it's gonna be amazing. Now you might be wondering why are they called super trees? They are called super trees because some of them harvest solar energy, they collect rainwater, and of course they grow plants because this is Singapore. <laughs> we'll go up them and tell you some more about them from the top.
Well, we are at the top of the super tree. This is the tallest one. It's about 16 stories tall. It's amazing. And when they say that there are 360 degree views from up here, they're not kidding. Definitely the best view that we've had of Singapore and the perfect time at sunset. We don't think we'll be able to see the light show up here. Uh, so we'll try it a couple levels down and if that doesn't work, we'll have to go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, but gosh, perfect timing, perfect timing. We are just waiting for the light show to begin. I'm so excited. We came down from the top of the super tree and now we're camped out on the street with like hundreds of our new closest friends. I'm so excited to watch this. <laughs> and it's free. You don't even have to visit any of the gardens or the super tree or anything. All you have to do is come by here at the time of the show. Uh, I know at least one is 745, which is like in a minute. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you again at the gardens.